Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is on Jade Cargill, uh, this weekend's uh, Flash Feud superstar. She is a modern era focused showboat, and boy is she good. Um, spoiler, she's easily the best lady showboat in the game, not really close. That's probably not surprising since it's been a while since one has came out, to be honest. Um, the first two movesets, I don't like at all. I'm just got them in there to show you guys the moves. Um, so really, if you want to go past the first two, you probably won't miss too much. Um, strap for this one is only a 20 percenter. It's a 20 percent strap. Um, it is Fury 2's loaded. We have a yellow move damage metal. She doesn't have super beefy move damage, so that's not really a big deal. Um, for now, the plate that's on is heavy machinery. That'll be used on a build later. I will make one plate switch. Uh, there's basically two builds, depending on what you have in your play style, probably how you want to run her. There's also some stuff you can do if you want to live dangerously, which I don't, so I will mention it but not show it because I don't think it's necessary. Uh, general standard for me, right? So first move set, triple yellow, finisher, jaded, uh, 10 MP. This is all yellow, obviously. Um, 379k damage, choose a 6x6 area to swap into greens. Bottom rope choke, 7 MP sub. It's a yellow sub, so you could keep recycling the sub over and over. So it's absolutely available to do a super sub build and just hit the sub every turn uh, because it's a choose yellow uh, and it leaves multiply gems of strength 7 on the board. Uh, you choose 8 of them. And then the pop-up Samoan drop, 7 MP juggernaut. Choose 2 gems to make it a 2 turn juggernaut gems that will increase your green gem damage 95% for 1 turn. And then on the end countdown, your yellow MP by 10. Um, so it refills itself. So it sounds good in practice, but her, I mean, like, I don't care for it. Maybe you will. Anyway, entourage for this one, Kofi, Braun to get one more on the multiply and, and the two on the yellow. You could just as easily use like, uh, trick Oscar, anyone with two yellow MP really. Right. And then Lex for green gem damage. And I'm just keeping it fairly generic here. Lacey for 20% green. There's obviously better options there. Right. So. Let's go. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these first two because I really dislike them compared to the other two after them. And the two after them, I will have multiple builds um, of each one based on so you can have a good idea on your roster how it'll work. Uh, so put your Juggy Gems down. And you will obviously she has 99 MP right now. These are all feud ready builds, by the way, uh, unless I say otherwise which I don't think I will. Into, uh, I'll run 199 MP build as requested by a friend at the end of this, but that's it. Um, probably. Anyway, uh, a three match will do it, and then you can place your... I'm going to break six, though, just to get the yellows out of the way. And then you can kind of place these in a spot, in spots that hopefully... Actually, yeah, I don't want to do that double there. Um, that don't get broken. Usually focusing on ones that are already up. Or available, I guess. Yeah, that didn't work out super great. Uh, not that it really matters. Uh, they're not where most of the damage comes from. Most of the damage comes from the green buff that just hit twice. Every green is 115k, so... We'll get those two multiplies. And again, this is only a 20% strap. 7.7 .7 million with a 20% strap. It's not bad at all, like a six-star bronze, right? But uh, compared to what's coming, it's nothing. All right, this is the protect jam and damage one. Also don't care for this one. Um, however, it'll show you the blue thunderbomb finisher. She has two finishers. <laughs> and then the snowfall move. That is not the finisher. And bicycle kick and the tilt a whirl backbreaker. All right, 10 MP blue thunder bomb finisher, 268k damage plus 142k for every protect gem. That's pretty spicy. It'd be great in a in a protect gem lady boss. Tilt a whirl backbreaker. Choose a five by one airy to swap into red gems. Then deal 178k damage. Increase your green MP by 10. That's a quite a good combo move. We'll see that again later. Spoiler. Uh, bicycle, kickle, bleh, bicycle kick, 6 MP, 156k damage, choose a 5x1 area, make into snowfall protect gems, which modify all gems below it, into protect gems of strength, 107k when broken by you. Entourage for this one, we are going to go with the protect gem loadout. 
Otis does 100% more damage. Bailey does 15%. Of course, if you have two Sows, he does another 100%. You do need Santa to start loaded in feud, although why you would ever use this build in feud is beyond me. Mm, anyway, there we go. So again, Skill Plate hasn't done anything on either of these builds. That's for a later one. So you'll put your Snowfalls out. And then this move will break the Snowfalls. Uh, and then also fill the finisher. And if you're me, probably Cascade. Let's find out. Haha, -ha, McMenemy. No luck for you. And now, it actually does pretty big Protect Gem damage, actually, here. Uh, that's a 9.5 million without two sows. Uh, so it'd probably go, like, 13, 14 mil, I would guess, with two sows. Uh... So it's actually pretty juicy. It's just not, um, it's, it's very cascady and there's, as I said, better stuff coming. I think this is the build that a lot of people will run if you don't have crazy stuff at all. And this is why the heavy machinery is on there. Um, so the, again, keep in mind, this is only a 20% strap. We're going to run jaded and then the moves you haven't seen. They're both six MP, very low charge, uh, big, big fan. And this is why heavy machinery is on. So vertical suplex, 6 MP, 178k damage, choose 6 to make into yellow. That's going to get us able to load jaded. Spine buster, 6x4 area to make into multiply gems of strength 6. That's 24 multiply gems times strength 6. And she's going to pop the greens on top of those, which recycles it. Load out for this one. I think I had saved for my regular one. Yes, I did. So, obviously, there are much better choices. However, these are more avail readily available. Doesn't require a Santa Hogan here. I'm also setting it up so you won't need NWO Hogan this way to load it in feud. It's a five and a three match, but uh, to offset that, we're, oops, that was not the right button. Um, it's a five and a three match, and to offset that, that's why Heavy Machinery is on there. You'll be able to put the Multiply Gems out twice. And then get a few more of those. I do anticipate cascading here. Just FYI. I, I personally can't run this uh, like in feud because it'll drive me crazy. But I know. Oh, it also. I probably should have put this somewhere else. Uh, Burgle Flickle. That didn't go the way I wanted it to at all. Because we need to set up a five and a three. And I have not successfully placed these in a very good way for that. I realize this is a bad spot. Very much so. Alright, whatever. It's fine. It's a 5 and a 3. And I'll try it again. And that way then you can get two sets of multiplies out and do enough damage with very little to be worth your time. That hit for 10 million without anything special. Right? Uh, should I run it once more? Hmm. Why not? Why not? This is going very fast, so why not? Let's see if I can do a 5 and a 3. All right. Yellow over here. This should work better. Maybe. No promises. Over here. Sure. And there's uh let's set up this swipe three over to here. Sure. Like so, that gives us three yellow or blah, green on the heavy machinery, and then we swipe. Hey, look at that! I did it. So one cascade for McMenemy, and uh, that one not for McMenemy. Uh, and then you go over here. Boom! So here you go. Here's a, a big damage finisher without anything super crazy. Heavy machinery is on the skill plate part picker wall for one um, skill plate. That's eleven million damage. So. Okay, so what about if you have 17k Santa, Sherry, what will this look like? Uh, pretty good, actually. And Santa's on there, you could do the 5-3 match without it, 
But Santa lets you just do two, three matches, and you guys know I'm all about that. Um, safer builds and more consistent. So here we go. Again, you don't need the plate for this one. We're not going to try doubling up or anything like that because uh, it is not necessary. So it's two, three matches, which generally is very quick. Put your multiplies down. And then drop your, your greeny weeny gems. Boom. Really easy, fast, simple gameplay. That's, what, 10.7 million or so uh, with very little risk. All right. Now, my the build that I liked right out the gate, this is actually the first thing I tried. It's kind of funky. Um, this is without Roxanne. You do want Steamboat or um, what's his face? Uh, Dragon for the yellow chews. And you're going to want a skill plate. So until I put the skill plate on, this isn't going to look quite as impressive. Uh, with the skill plate, I'll tell you right now, this is really, really good. Uh, spoiler. But I will run it without the skill plate and then put the skill plate on after I run it uh, with and without Roxanne. This is kind of more a little bit old school style. Um, it's a straight up choose. So, yeah. And it hits very, very hard. Uh, you've seen all the moves, so I don't need to explain them. So this would again be loaded turn one and feud. Just like all the other ones so far. So what I find in case you have trouble matching stuff up is to place the yellows first, the choose nine here. Uh, so you can pick a side where you're going to go. Uh, whatever works better for your brain. So, like, I like doing these fours and then two because I know all that's safe and then move over and do it again if possible. I can't here, obviously, right? And I can't put it here, but I can go here and here. And then that leaves one more spot, which I think here is fine. I suck at seeing these, but actually managed it. Okay. Then you put your multiply gems down. Uh, ba boom. And guess what? This red move, don't place it. Now, if you did place it, you would potentially be able to get it again, but I'm not about that risk, so no, not happening. You could if you want. I don't see the point. Let's just get this, these into Multiply Gems too, while we're at it. Again, probably not necessary, but why not? And then let's fill in the blanks we left. Like so. So 7.1 million. Not impressive yet. Like I said, this is going to need the plate before you get impressed. Now, what would it look like with Roxanne and no plate? Let's find out. So this is with Roxanne and Sherry. Of course, if you don't have Sherry, substitute Matt. If you don't have Sherry or Matt, you could substitute any two uh, MP person. Two, I mean, sorry. Any, yeah, two MP, one multiply person to get one more on there. I think I have this loadout saved. Again, if you don't have Dragon, you can use Booker T. Um, you could still do it without, uh, if you have Roxanne, but you don't have Dragon or Booker T, you could put Dolph in here and then go multiply uh, coaches and stuff over here, right? Then you would no longer uh, still need Santa, but then you go like Memrock or something, right? So there's a lot of variations. Anyway, enough talky talk. Try not to mess this up for you guys so i'll try not to talk too much and make bad plays but it's me so it's very likely okay let's play some yellow gems jemmy gem 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 jemmy gem i like this because i can do my fours i can do my twos 
And see, like, when I can do that, I'm very happy. That works well for my brain and vision. Boom. Of course, now we have times 10 multiplies, which is a very nice. Again, no reason to place this. Why risk it? And I'm sure you know which plate I'm going to use already. If you didn't know which plate I'm going to use, it's obviously the Nightmare Plate, um, which is going to buff the ever-living crap out of these gems. You know what else you can do when you do this, when it works out like this? Those are row breaks, uh, or that is, potentially. So let's see about... Yeah, let's pick up a little bit of extra damage. Oh, I left a yellow on the board. Still, anyway, that did 11 million without a plate. Okay. Wait till we get the plate on there, guys. Also, check your Facebook Messenger. Again, keep in mind, this is this is with only a 20% strap on a gem damage-based build. Um, and multiplies at that. So it will... And you, you can basically double all the damage you've seen on the two builds I like. Um, anyway... Let's slap this plate on here. Whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your yellow gem damage by 100% per one turn. So let's see how regular build does without Roxanne. Du -du -du -du. Technically, you know what? Since it uses two MP trainers, I am just going to take these two off and not put the other ones on. Right? Because there's no reason to, because we start with 99 MP. So what you're seeing would be loaded in turn feud on the right. Uh, but right now I have no MP trainers on because I'm lazy. So choose your yellows. So here it's more messy. This is much more likely for me to cascade. So I may not even place all of them. Of course, you could absolutely place all of them if you wanted to. Uh, I am just a big, big, big chicken um, because I screw this up all the time. And you put your multiplies down, and we get our initial first buff. Uh, 345k. On each multiply. Let's put our second set down, and let's see how much it goes up to from 345k. I want to say like 480 or something. 438. So now each one is 438. And now let's connect the dots to the best of our ability. Let's see how we do without Roxanne. That's 11 million reduced to 10. So you can decide which build you like better between this one or the finisher without, uh, without Roxanne. But this one, where this one gets really juicy, and again, do keep in mind... You could hit the Multiply Gem a third time, and maybe I'll do that once just for fun. Um, you could hit that Multiply Gem a third time uh, if you're willing to risk the Cascade. Looking at you, Evo, I'm sure you are, and get three buffs. Also, I'm sure Zora will probably do that too. So, uh, what are we doing? We're placing some Yellow Gems, huh? Oh, I'm totally going to chicken out. There's stuff everywhere over here. Uh, danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, that's... Uh, mm -hmm. I think I can put one there. So, starting out, we at uh, 420k. Not 420 Sorry, 42k. And uh, with one buff, we're at 575k. So it's a 5 by one area, and the red move is 6. So if we put it right here, we would have 6 MP, and it would refill it, the red, so we'd be able to hit them again. You know what? Should we? No, let's not try it this time. Yeah, you, no, let's not try it this time. I'm a chicken. Let's just run this first with the plate. <laughs> And then I'll try one, maybe. Maybe. Now, let's go up here, like so. 
So each one of those multiplies to 730k now. It's kind of, kind of, kind of glorious. They, they're just biggins. So that was 21 million damage. This is post 99 MP. That's 21 million damage on a six star bronze turn one feud ready build. 21 million with a 20% strap. So that's, that's sort of why I like it, I guess. Right? Um, and if you wanted to hit that three times, if the board worked out, you could. Uh, so, you know what? Let's just... <clears throat> of course, all of you can run this build with 99 MP. Uh, you would just run your Multiply Trainers or Dolph. Probably Dolph, actually. Um, which I'll... I might... I'll do that one, too, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be... And I did this wrong. The reason why you place the yellows before the multiplies is in case you cascade the yellows. So you're less likely to cause a pin, by the way. And it's easier to see. There's less stuff. At least I think it's easier to see. Whether that's true or not. Eh, who knows. I'll, I'll use it as an excuse, though. Okay, undo that. That means that's safe. And then I'm going to chicken out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Five bucks. Oh, I didn't cascade! Wait, that should have been six. Is this... Why did that not refill? Uh, that should I thought that was six. Oh, well. Anyway, whatever. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'm full of bullcrap. Who knows? If this is the only last one turn, so if I swiped, I would lose the buff. For anyone watching this that's going to post in the comments, you could have swiped. You had space. Yeah, the, the buff only lasts for one turn, though. On the skill plate. Oh, that one only hit for 18 million. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Um, yeah. Probably Dolph would be the way, for sure. Um... Actually, we'll run 199 MP with this. Sherry and Dolph. Because then we can connect all the dots. And then I will run 199 MP build. That'll probably be the one most people run uh, for the next couple months, I would imagine. Um, and let's just do... Who did I say I was going to put on Dolph? I tried him once um, as well earlier. So here's your 99 MP build. Sorry, no um, graphic on the right for it. There's going to be way too many yellow gems. Oh, Merrick's is going to cascade. For sure. For sure. Um, There's so many yellow gems here. I'm ready to chicken out right there. Yeah. I got some of them. That's okay. Really where Dolph comes in is at the end here, when you choose into everything. I expect this to be pretty ridiculous, to be honest. Oh, we're going to go straight up here. I could have done that much better. You, you could hit way harder than you're going to see here. I chickened out. We're going to get this green, though, for sure. We're going to row break that. And then let's fill all this in. Yeah, we are. Ooh. 27 million. Okay. Uh, and here's the 99 MP build for you. The tricolor. Really easy. Uh... Not much, not much nonsense. Um, fast dubs. Wait, we got a lot of stuff in here in 25 minutes. That's not bad. Finisher buff multiply. Loadout's almost the same as what we got on. Previous we want. 
that for maximum multiplies. Boom. We're gonna go green gem damage, and then we're gonna go. I'm going. I'm going big here for whoever's watching this that cares about the 99 MP build. You probably got a lot of these if you're pulling for Jade. Um, she's gonna be a difficult get. Obviously, the Nightmare Plate does nothing for this build, but you can put lots of multiply gems down. Biggins. You probably don't need to, but if you want to, you can do the second set. We're going to go over here to get decent overlap. Because we should be able to do like this and pick that one up. I think this is actually better. Anyway, that's like 20 mil. Fairly quick at 6-star bronze. Basically double all of these. There's very little move damage here for 6-star silver. Um, okay, she's easily the best showboat. It's not close. Uh, I could try to talk about where I would rank her for Lady Feuders. Uh, to me, Rhea's faster. Um, new Legend Era, Acro Rhea. Um, let's go to Ladies and Luck here. Let's go. We want to go Ladies... Uh, I don't think there's any striker that I would like more than that, to be honest. Uh, unless you're talking like crazy build for Rhea here, which would be drip plate, seance, big strap. Um, you can two click with that. I don't have the stuff to run that. Uh, zombie live, if you have a really good strap, you can two click. So zombie lives better at powerhouse i think that's it at powerhouse trickster uh if you have the right stuff i do not again seance you can two click with live i think i like chelsea more to be honest it's easier to me smoother more fun so i think i like chelsea more as well at trickster dakota drip is going to be faster at acro uh i like becky more or not becky i'm sorry Rhea more i do not like becky more eo i need to see with um with the new moment how she does um curious because she gets a nice buff i'm gonna use her this weekend at six star bronze and see how that translates um indy's obviously better uh but i i don't think he was gonna be and i think i was messing around with Kyrie a bunch i think with the right setup she will be quicker as well um so yeah i mean like for sure top 10 lady feuder in the game depending on your roster who you have on it how you like to play maybe higher uh, easily the best showboat, right? So uh, I think she's absolutely uh, worth having. Um, her trainer, I don't think I looked at it at the start in my excitement, is a coach. Uh, purple gems do 30% more damage. Purple moves do 30% more damage. Uh, whatever. That's eh for me. Uh, I don't, I not like thrilled with it. I'm not, I don't hate it. It's right in the middle, right? It's just kind of eh. So yeah, I think she's great. I hope I get her. If it's like Flash Feud has been, though, Flash Feud has become the hardest get, the most expensive one. So unless I get lucky, I don't think I will. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this preview. Remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck out there. She is good. Yeah, buddy.